Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. For those of you who are new in here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this very sexy, smoky eye. I'm not going to show you just the eye look. It's going to be the whole thing. And I am finally going to be able to feature some Makeup by Mario product. Well, not this palette. <clears throat> Maybe the next one is. Yes. Some Makeup by Mario products. I'm so excited to finally be able to use the By Mario product. If you guys don't know Makeup by Mario, he's a celebrity makeup artist and I personally love the guy so much. And throughout the years, I've been a huge supporter, went to his master classes and follow him on social media and I can wait for him to have a makeup line. When the makeup line was only available in Sephora US and Canada, I was quite disappointed because I knew it would take me a long time to get my products. They're finally here. I'm finally going to be able to use them the way I want. And this is what this video is all about. Before I dig into the makeup look, I want to let you guys know that this video is in partnership with Function of Beauty. Function of Beauty uses no sulfates, no toxins or parabens. It's a 100% cruelty-free and vegan hair care brand. And I know you guys always ask me about my hair, but recently I have changed my shampoo and conditioner. My old one was also from Function of Beauty, but since I have colored my hair, I have lightened it, so it's a little bit blonder now i don't know if you guys notice only if you you have a similar color with me you know the struggle gets that very ugly yellowish tone so now function of beauty sent me this shampoo that has a very very deep purple color that helps me with uh, maintaining a beautiful beigey tone uh, on my hair so this is basically what i use this is their shampoo this is their conditioner it's a hundred percent customizable. These two, shampoo and conditioner, they're perfect for my hair, but you can take the quiz, which is super fun and easy on the website and you could create your own custom shampoo and conditioner. You could have your name written on the bottle. Can you? No, maybe on this one you can see better. Sorry guys, I, I've, I've been using it for a, a few weeks. So you see, you could, you could have your name in here. You could pick your own fragrance. You could even pick the intensity of the fragrance that you want. I love this brand and it's not the first time I mention it. But now more than ever, I wanted to share this, especially the shampoo, because it's really making a difference in the color of my hair. Function of Beauty will give you 20% off your first order. So check out the link in my description box. Now let's get into the makeup tutorial. Needless to say that I have no self-tan on. It was drying my skin like crazy. And even if I moisturized my skin like all over my body, you guys, it's just not the same. And I've noticed that this happens ever since I started to use fake tan like constantly every single week. I'm gonna take a break, embrace the natural color of my skin and move on with ivory. The first product is this Clé de Peau Concealer. This is that concealer that everybody thinks it's magical. And I gave it one try and I was not... I don't want to be rude because all of my friends, you guys, all of my girlfriends, they're crazy about this. They are coming at me when I say something bad about it. They're like, mm, you don't know. You don't know what you're talking about. It does wonders on me. I'm like, okay. So I'm going to give it another try. Let's try beige first. Where do I begin talking about how dry this product is? This is so dry for me. I'm going to apply it on the other side as well because I don't want to take it off. You know what? If you're happy with it, I'm happy for you. Not for me. This is my NARS. Now I'm so light that even NARS custard seems like it's a bit too dark for me. There we go, much better. Then I'm gonna apply this Westman Atelier stick foundation. I was using it in my last video and I was so happy with the way makeup looked in daylight. 
after I, I was doing my makeup last time, I left. And it looked so beautiful in daylight. I'm going to use this one because it's clean. This is a La Bouche Rouge brush. And I take a damp beauty blender, a clean one, and just make sure that I take the excess. Sometimes I have a heavy handed, especially when it's about stick foundations. So I end up applying way more than necessary. And then you could see like the beauty blender took the excess off and then I also make sure the product is very, very well spread and even. Now, the concealer that I was using from NARS, Custard, is too dark for me. It's a great color to color correct, but it's not a great color to brighten my under eyes. So I'm gonna move on with something that will brighten the under eyes. I've recently started to use this Bodyography concealer, and you guys, this is so full coverage. Unfortunately, I do not have the exact color that matches with my skin tone. I, I only have like a few colors and most of them are very, very dark for me. So I'm going to mix number L, so I guess it's from light one, with medium two. That seems like the right color. So a little goes a long way with this one. Then I will take the beauty blender because it's right here. I can't get with a beauty blender right here, so I'll use the brush. This is a Hakuhoto brush, B214. I will apply a little bit of that brighter concealer on the center of my chin and in between my eyebrows. And then with the clean side of the beauty blender, I don't think I've ever showed you this tip, but I always clean the eyebrows. I don't like it when they have product on them. I also like to remove the foundation from my lips. Huda Beauty Silk Balm. I don't know if you guys know about this product. I, use it, I usually have this in the room where I edit and I apply this all the time. I mean I have so many lip balms but this one has a little bit of like, I don't know if you can see, it's like a nude lip balm. Next I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Tantour in Fair. And I've scooped it, applied it on the back of my hand because I what I've noticed happens if you dig your brush in a, in a cream product like this, you know, sometimes brushes shed. So you end up having like hair and it just looks disgusting in time. So it's better to just scoop it. Apply it on the back of your hand, then take it with a brush. You know what? Sometimes I don't have clean brushes. That's when I use Beauty Blender for everything. So I'm gonna take this cleaner side of the Beauty Blender and then on the cheeks where, you know, I would naturally tan. I remember when I was a kid and I was very, very pale, I had neighbors who would be like, Go sit in the sun a little bit. Get some color in your cheeks. We used to think the sun was uh, the real deal. Now I'm gonna set first the under eyes using the Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder. But first I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender to make sure the concealer didn't crease. Now taking Misa One brush. Setting just the concealer with this powder. For the rest of the skin, I'll be using the Laura Mercier around the nose. I'm taking this Misa 17 brush and this Kevin Aucoin palette. This is a great palette for sculpting and contouring. It has three amazing sculpting shades right here. From my experience working with different palettes, I could tell you these are the best colors for contouring, not for bronzing. So I use the sculpting powder to, you see, give this shadow.
make my cheeks look a little bit more sculpted. This is the type of color that I would also use to shape a little bit the nose. I will use this La Bouche Rouge for the eyebrows. This is a new product they just launched. This eyebrow pencil comes in three colors. I'm gonna brush it through it. In order to give a very realistic look of the eyebrows, you can do these little light strokes. Only at the end of the eyebrows. Let's get to sort of the star of this whole look. It's the By Mario makeup brand. Finally, <laughs> I'm the last one. When you live in France and you want to review a, an American company, it's quite hard. It takes a long time till it gets here. I'm super excited about these. I've already used this palette right here. I'm gonna put a look that I've done on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, hello! I do tutorials on there, sometimes on other people. Depends on, you know, the models that accept. This is the palette that I was using on a beautiful Miriam. But then these two ones, this one and this one, they're all very, very beautiful. I've also received the lip palette, which probably I'm going to use it today. I love this lip palette. I already know that this is not going to be very, very popular among consumers. Um, and that is only because this is something makeup artists usually would do. You have primary colors. I love it. It resembles, I have to admit this, it, it's very, very similar with the lip palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I love the packaging. I love that it's smaller. I love that it looks like an eyeshadow palette. Normally it comes with a brush, lip brush, that I immediately lost it. And it has this little palette right here. I thought this was genius. I got these Master Pigment Pro pencils, fantastic ones. I was wearing one of them, the base of my lashes, and then, you know, I was in a hurry. I didn't apply any eyeshadow on top of it, which is normally what makes a pencil last. You know, when I smile and I have a lot of movement, a lot of times the whatever I apply at the base of my lashes would print here and I'd look like a raccoon. It could happen because sometimes it's not just about the way you are applying it. The product can play a huge part in this. It did not happen with this. I was so, so happy and surprised because this guy glides like a dream. So it's, it looks like it's very hydrating. I've got three colors of dark blue, a dark brown and a dark purple. I'm gonna use dark purple today and I'm, I'm gonna use this palette because I know that what are the chances for you to actually use this for your everyday makeup. So I'm gonna save this palette to create a look on my Instagram, I promise, okay? The look that I've done on Miriam is saved on my highlights, so please check it out if you wanna see like step by step. The pencil comes with a sharpener. Getting this pencil at the base of the lashes. You guys know I love pencils and I always like to use a creamy product on my eyelids before I actually apply eyeshadow. And I take a brush and smudge it so it's not like super precise. I have quite a lot of space between the lashes and the crease so my eye allows me to apply something that's a little bit thicker but if you don't have a lot of space in there I suggest you to keep this shape much thinner. And I will take the darkest color here with the same brush. Now of course uh, I could have used that brown pencil. 
but I want to change it up a little bit. Now, most of the color I applied on at the base of the lashes, but then what is left, I spread it everywhere. I'm interested in keeping the darkest color at the base of the lashes. Taking a Morphe M 514 brush and that same color, but now I'm getting it in the crease. I'm gonna add a little bit more at the outer corner right here. And that same eyeshadow on the lower lashes. Next, I'm going to take this color right here and bring some luminosity right here on the first inner half of the eye, I would say, on the bra bone to just connect everything. I didn't want to go all the way to the inner corner because I've got deep set eyes and it's just going to give me that very, very angry look. Now, I'm not going to apply false lashes, but I want to make my lashes look major. So I'm going to lift them. I don't always use the eyelash curler. This one from Laura Mercier is surprisingly good. And then I'm going to take the Sweet Pro Lash Lift Mascara. The combination between eyelash curler and this mascara, you could swear I have false lashes. Nice, right? Look at these lashes, you guys. Getting mascara on the lower lashes. Let's get to the lips. Makeup Forever Endless Cacao. Now let me show you how I've created my perfect lipstick color from the By Mario palette. I've mixed this color right here, which is the warmest, with a little bit of white. Mixed it here on this little palette. I also want to try these lip glasses. I don't really like matte lipsticks. I mean, I like them, but I like a little juicy situation. So I have these colors. I'm going to take this one right here. They're also from by Mario. This is Pro Volume Lip Gloss in Golden Nude. Back of my hand, because it seems like it's super rich. So if I would apply it directly with the applicator, it would just be too much. Center of the lip. And then tap it. Mm -hmm. So my skin is light. I have a hard time finding a good bronzer that does not look orange, very peach, very red. One of the reasons why I love to self tan is because I find my colors so much easier, so much easier. It's never a struggle to find a bronzer, for example, when you are a light to medium. A good bronzer for me would always be this ambient lighting palette from Hourglass. It doesn't really matter if I have a self tan or if I don't have a self tan. This really is customizable. When I do have a self tan on, I would apply a little bit more of this. When I don't have a self tan on, you know, I, I get more towards like in these colors. I mean, I mix them all together. You will see in a second how I apply this. This is how I would mix them. But then at the end, I take a little bit more of this. Just a pinch. I can't help it. I need a little pink. Mm -hmm. 
This is a Sonia G Classic Cheek Brush. And this is the Strawberry Blush from Laura Mercier. Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So that I have a bit more glow. This is great after you've applied powder on your skin. Alright guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what should I do next. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to see more looks. And check out the description box to get 20% on your first order at Function of Beauty. Also in my description box you can find the full list with everything that I've used including my jewelry and also this very cute dress. See you in my next one. Bye. At Sephora UN. Nobody knows that I got sweatpants underneath. Sweatpants are life, okay? What are you waiting for? It's my favorite thing. Alex, my husband. Pretty husband. Do you say pretty for men? Handsome. Mm. Mm, I guess you know is.